During this short video, I'm going to show the use of the new advanced trending package in Nearworks 9.2 by displaying some of the available trends in ICU view mode in acquisition. Trend calculation and analysis can be run and displayed both online during the recording and offline in review mode. In order to enable the ICU view mode in acquisition, go to Tools, Options and select the Use ICU Touchscreen mode, making sure that the Use Need to Strengths Summary option is selected. The other option, Use Persist ICU Continuous Monitoring, is used when Persist is installed and configured on the system which is not the case described in this video. Once the ICU mode view is selected, click on OK and go back to the database. In order to run a new acquisition, click on New EG and then enter last name and first name in the study information box. The acquisition screen in ICU mode opens and shows the default EG montage and the node toolbar on the right side, which can be customized with specific nodes and more suitable for ICU applications. In order to enter nodes, we can just click on the name in the list and display the corresponding event tag in the EG. For example, we can select Eyes Open and Eyes Closed. Looking at the left side of the acquisition screen, we can see the ICU workflow toolbar, where the main commands are displayed. The ICU mode view is composed by three different panels. The live panel, which is the current one and shows the EG waveforms. The review panel, which shows the EEG waveforms and the EEG trends and the Trends panel, which shows the EEG trends only. Clicking on Trends, the panel changes and shows the EEG trends only. The trends can be organized into different tabs. The current tab shows the seizure events count plot, the amplitude DG trends and the envelope trends, which are calculated on four different derivations. Tab 2 shows the alpha variability trend, Tab 3 the bar suppression trends, Tab 4 the DSA trends, and Tab 5 the spectral edge frequency trend. Clicking on the review button, the system shows the review panel where the EEG waveforms and the EEG trends are displayed. From within this panel, we are able to review the EEG and look back at the recorded EEG, which is synchronized with the trends on the right. We also have the chance to move through the tabs focusing on different trends. Clicking on Live, we go back to the EEG waveforms view. For the sake of simplicity, I recorded EEG for several hours and then I resume the recording of this video in order to show the results of the trend calculations. Clicking on Trends, the system shows the results after an almost 4-hour monitoring. At first sight, we can see that the system has detected some seizures. As the green tags show in the seizure events count plot and the increasing shifts in voltage in the envelope trend at the bottom. Tab 2 shows the alpha variability trend and how the alpha activity has changed during the monitoring 
without showing any significant correlation with the seizures. Tab 3 shows the bar suppression trends, with no significant data as this clinical case doesn't reflect the condition of bar suppression activity. Tab 4 shows the DSA trends, which are certainly more significant. The seizure events count plot and the DSA trend respectively show the tags and the characteristic patterns of possible seizures which have occurred in the EG during the monitoring. With reference to the DSA trend, the increases of the power refer to possible seizures and we can also note that the increases of power in the right side of the brain are more evident than the left side, as the electrical activity generated by the seizures is greater on the right side. Going back to the tab 1, for the same reason, we can note that the peaks in voltage in the envelope trend regarding the right side are higher and more well defined than the ones on the left side, and they are synchronized with the seizure events automatically detected by the system. Clicking again on the tab 4, we can see that all the trends are synchronized together. We can also change the time interval by clicking on the time scale and select a different value. For example, one hour to enlarge the view. And then go back to a standard view displaying the trends with a time interval of six hours. By double clicking on point of interest in the trends panel, the system automatically opens the review panel showing the corresponding EEG page and the same point of interest in the trends view. Now we can start reviewing the EEG and change the time base in case we need to focus on a longer period of EEG. Click with the right button, select time base and then the value, for example 1 mm per second. This is an example of seizure which has occurred during the monitoring and which is also shown in the DSA trends. We can also use the DSA trend to identify possible artifacts in the EG and differentiate them from critical activity. Many artifacts such as muscle activity or electrode artifact will be represented by a prolonged or sudden increase in power at higher frequencies along the y-axis, with no evolution. Here we have an example on the DSA C4P4 trend. Clicking on the DSA trend and then move forward in the EG, the EEG page shows an artifact on C4 and P4 derivations in the montage which are contaminated by an artifact. On the same derivation, the DSA trend also shows a huge increase of power which might be caused by a different electrode artifact. Clicking on the DSA trend and then move forward in the EEG, we can see and identify the P4 channel was defected. Most probably it was due to a bad electrode contact. Once the monitoring has been completed, click on File and then Exit in order to end the study and go back to the database.